Okay, continuing from where we were, the self-destructive bits, the self-destructive nodes will bring themselves to an end. Uh, but in the meantime, we have to contend with that as human beings who are living with and around these systems. Now, let's talk a little bit about why the second law of thermodynamics, let's, let's apply the second law of thermodynamics, which is an increase of entropy over time in any closed system, to um, why it is that communism fails and capitalism survives. And I would also mention that capitalism survives and every single other system fails, right? To the extent that you have whatever the thing is in capitalism in your society, you thrive. And to the extent that you don't have it, you fail. All other systems fail. So this is the tightrope that we mentioned earlier. There's one system. Now I say tightrope, I'd also just say real quickly that that tightrope kind of quigs and quags as you go along it. So you can't just walk in a straight line blindly. Um, you have to stop almost every step of the way and check and see and look at reality every step of the way or you'll fall off the, the tightrope of science and objectivity. Okay, so if life is sucking order out of the environment around it in order to maintain its own little packet of order, if that's what life is, and if successful large nodes uh, imitate life on a larger scale, um, and if a distributed AI is a thing, then here's what we're talking about. We're talking about capitalism being a system which continually sucks order out of the environment and builds itself up with that, <clears throat> reproduces itself and reinvents itself. Whereas communism is a, is a system, is a node, where the machinery of sucking order out of the environment and rejuvenating itself, that machinery has been shut down. So, since we know the machinery in communism that gets shut down is individual initiative, and we know the indi individual initiative is the machinery that runs capitalism, we can say that the lifeblood of a society, the anti-second law of thermodynamics juice in a society consists in the individuals wanting whatever it is that they want and being free to pursue it. And if they are free to pursue it, they will build up, rejuvenate, regenerate their little piece of society. All of them will do that. And that means society as a whole is rejuvenated and regenerated. Whereas in communism, they stop that through the various means. And if you know the history of communism and socialism, you know they've got a million different ways to do it. Um, in Venezuela, we recently saw the army preventing uh, food aid from coming across the border. That's very strange, isn't it? They need food in their country, and they're preventing food aid from coming in. So you can never underestimate the insanity of a system which is systematically insane and is bent on its own destruction. You can never underestimate how self-destructive such a system will be. Um, Hitler's Germany is another good example of that. Soviet Russia ground itself right into dust and ended in a whimper. So capitalism thrives because it sucks order out of the environment. Communism fails because it shuts down all of the individuals who are doing so much work on a daily basis to do everything from painting their houses to preparing their streets to just plain going to their job all those myriad of things are just shut down and de-incentivized under communism and so society falls apart and degrades now this distributed artificial intelligence that i speak of and think of um, uh, we do have every reason to fear all of the things that Sam Harris fears could come of it. Um, but as I was saying before, to produce it, we're going to have to have some sort of an ecosystem or environment where there, these things, where multitudes of these things are given the opportunity to survive at the expense of the other ones. And then what comes out of that, who, you know, God knows, and I'm not sure if we want to go down that road. So, I don't know if or how soon that will ever come about. And it's more likely that we'll be able to create um, much, much less amazing versions of that 
You know, we might be able to create some sort of self-reproducing life form with some sort of consciousness, but not a human mind anytime soon. Because all of the things we think of that are so amazing about the human mind are a result of having to survive in this environment for millions of years. Going all the way back to crustaceans and lobsters and, and you know, our systems of endocrine and everything. Those are very, very old systems. Uh, and so mimicking one little piece of that with AI is not uh, getting us to the danger spot that Sam Harris is afraid of. But, you know, as I've said before, as I said again here, that's dangerous enough. Just the Germans having the Enigma machines so that we didn't know what they were saying amongst themselves. Just being able to make the atom bomb. Uh, just being able to take control of all publishing in a society to prevent information spreading correctly. Just those things. If, if a distributed system gets into enough people's brains and gets them to act the certain way, and then those events happen, that's bad enough. We don't need a super AI. We can kill millions and millions of people just by screwing up with the distributed AI system we already have. And there's nothing and no event that your new AI could come up with or conceive of or carry out that's as bad as or any different from anything that humans are already trying to do or doing or have done. So, stop being so scared about AI. It's going to be really hard to build a very real effective one. Um, if we did, it would be a very strange thing. And it might be very different from what we imagine. And then it would have its own values and might not be willing to do what we wanted it to do anyway. And maybe that's what Sam Harris is afraid of. But what is totalitarianism then? If it's not a system that we built and is now carrying out its own orders regardless of what the humans involved want, what else is it? So we are here... We live inside of an artificial intelligence network, which is the philosophy distributed among the cerebral cortex of human beings. We are here.